one of the people who've been instrumental in, in actually fighting for, uh, for, for, for young disabled people to be, you know, in mainstream education. That's not been my area, but I think, you know, that's so important in terms of inclusion, in terms of young disabled and non-disabled people going, growing up together, but also in terms of disabled young people getting a decent education, you know. The quality of education in, in special schools is ain't what it should be, put it like that. So, you know, and a segregated society can never be an equal one. So I think it's, it's you know, but it's, it's you know, we are part of a movement and it, it's, it ain't over yet, I think is probably the best way to say it. I mean, I was very interested in what you were saying about India because I think that the, the kind of, there's a sense in which the second wave feminism kind of died back in the, in, 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 in the more wealthy countries and actually the, the mantle was taken up by women in India and Latin America and so on. And, it's, and that's continued. And I think in terms of disabled women, that's the same thing. And maybe it's coming back to us full circle as well. So it'd be good to see, you know, I'd like to make contact with that group. I think it'd be very interesting to know what they're doing. Actually.